the rules. So now let's get let's get started with the Sisters of Battle, and we got one right here, uh, which we're gonna paint the classic way, I think. Uh, just a standard like black with red red cloak and then a couple of white details. Uh, so let's get this started. Oh, uh, last night. Well, Brad has like so severe health issues, uh, so from time to time he's uh, out of commission and he's not streaming. Uh, the bad news about this is at like 3 p.m. he was feeling fine, and so I thought we were streaming, and then at like 7 or something, 6 6:30 or something, he was like, "Oh, uh, no stream." And then uh, because we are a small operation, so I didn't have time to find like a, a backup speaker, if you will, and uh, I'm not gonna run the show by myself. Um, I have no interest in doing that. I need to. Yeah, that, that's I'm gonna. I need to. We, me and Brad, we, we need to talk to figure out what we do uh, going forward because this is. Uh, you know, I stopped doing it with Austin because he was busy with, with work and stuff. But uh, th this, you know, this will not. I can't handle this this kind of stuff. Th this hurts me a lot. Let's get to painting a sister. So we're gonna paint it in the classic, uh, the classic scheme here: so the black uh, armor, red robes, and the white hair or helmet. And we start on a good solid black primer here, so pretty immaculate because we're gonna use the primer as well. Uh, down just a little bit here and mix the whatever's remaining in black with our and you could use stick it on you just have to, like pure stick it on if you do your, your whole army uh you know you're not gonna have that leftover mix uh so it's perfectly fine to use pure stick it on scale grain you just have to go a little bit lighter on the spray i can go heavier because it's darker my mix is is lighter uh, is darker because of the black yours is gonna be lighter if you don't have that mix so we're gonna shade from the top down here. I'm gonna go pretty, pretty liberal about this. We're gonna start like from the top down, turning 360 to get like every angle, and then we're gonna give it a slight angle just to get some other areas uh, shaded. Minute. So this is kind of fine. So as you can see, uh, we got a little blue in there, but if we turn it around, it's like black. So from underneath, black. Up top, eh, not black, bluish. Ooh, maybe we contrast the white. <laughs> Alright, let's start with red because uh, we want to do the, the robe in red and that's like the biggest area. So we'll, we'll start with it and then uh, go from there. So this is Mephisto on red. I'm going to move away the... Uh, this other, so, so obviously our model is going to look blue until we, we give that, that guy, uh, that, that gal, sorry, uh, a fun little shade. And then we're going to kind of build off from that null oil color. Because if we, if we just leave a red and null oil, it's going to look a little bit weird. And by a little bit weird, I mean a lot of weird. And we don't want it. Uh, but but it, it's going to be a nice... It's going to, that's kind of the, the ideal criteria for speed painting. Is you want to do, hopefully, only one pass with your color. And have like a smooth base coat. You know, it's probably the gray, the Ultron gray. Um, it's probably going to need a solid two, possibly even three. That's okay. Uh, but this, you know, this red, one coat, clean AF. And that's where, you know, that's where we get to save a lot of time here. You need a pretty good pace here. This is, this is a kind of model that will take like a, something like an hour to complete. Are, like hardly an hour to complete uh, and, but if you if we did like 10 at a time it would take like an hour 30 you know or like t two hours or whatever like the the, the fact that we we would want to bulk everything we're doing uh, it would work really well so that's kind of the again that's kind of the idea behind this this speed painting thing it's like using techniques that we can uh, scale with you know, like a boring corporate meeting, you know? Like, oh, does this scale? Yes, it does, buddy. Yes, it And again, because this is our speed painted kind of model, uh, we're gonna paint the entire gun here with silver. We're not gonna do, you know, some, some, uh, area with black and some or some area with red we're just gonna speed paint the whole freaking thing in silver i love this is like so much like playoff hockey in one sentence firing up the grill watching hockey like this is like two things that don't don't ring through except for the nhl 
the the real like beauty of, of this is not in the one sister it's in the army itself so following this same advice we're just going to do this uh the one on the gun and then next there's like this line of little buttons here so we're gonna despite the fact that oh, we're still painting we're, we're still painting everything on the model you know we're not like we're being smart with our color choice but we're not like cutting that many corners and not painting stuff if it's there we have to paint it so helmets and stuff now th this would be a, a case of if your models are left unassembled it would be very very smart to just prime them white and use contrast uh, because you can do this for the hair you can do this for the helmet like it works with with everything and I, I think I think all of the sisters have like um, some random characters but even then I think a lot of them I think they have a separate head and even so again it's to save time on the bulk of them you can paint like one or two by hand in the same method it's not that big of a deal it's just on a larger scale you'd want to remove all the heads I'm just in a I'm hurrying up because uh, that's how I would paint armies I want to get get done fast you know and uh, for the purposes of this stream that means I have to pay my, my uh, video guy less because it's gonna be a quitter a quicker video so you know play smart uh, <laughs> alright so now we're gonna do the helmet and all the little fun details with white and by white I mean wool to on gray which is off-white but as you can see it covers like nobody's business which is why that's what we're using because again maybe maybe I would like pure white but also I don't want to be here all day so I'm going to use this one to get like a good base coat in and then we're going to fine tune this color with pure white after but for now oops but for now okay and then we can do like uh, extra details here if we wanted to like you know like freehand and whatnot but we're not actually let's do that little uh let's not scroll i said we wouldn't do it but let's uh so now nothing impressive uh you know in terms of look so far because we need this to dry anyway so nothing impressive but uh notice that the blue is is a lot less blue right now which which is perfect because that's exactly what we want so we're going to leave this this little lady a chance to dry. We're going to work on the base. I'm going to check that message because it's uh, it's not important right now. I'm going to drink some coffee. Because that is important right now. And then, so we're going to work on the base just real quick while this dries, right? So we're going to leave a single lady to dry over here. Let's put it that way. And we're just going to do that base here. So we're gonna start on Rhinox hide, so flat Rhinox hide right here. Ooh Do you see here? This is this is kind of the thing that now we have to wait because if we start painting the bottom part here where the wash is like super heavy, uh, well it ain't gonna work for us. But other than that, you can see like the scissors uh, right now. Like if we stopped at this point, it, it would still be like a fine. You know, we need to touch up a couple of things, but it would still be like a, f a fine model, especially if we have like, you know, 40 of them. And that, that barely took any time at all. Now it's going to be a little messy, of course. So that's why we need to, to do some, some more work, right? Especially on that red, right? We, we would have benefited to not do the red and then do it like with brown or with red uh, shade instead. And for, but we, we're not doing anything fancy for the base here. We're just, you know, let's just do... Uh, just do scrog brown and then ochre and that will give us like something uh, what's commonly called mildly interesting so we got rhinox bay well, rhinox hide for a base coat now this is uh, scrog brown and we're just uh, kind of over over brushing it we're not dry brushing really because it's a little bit too heavy know who uh, who did these bases but he went heavy on the rocks now, I don't mind but I think it looks nicer if you uh, if you have like clean edges to your bases. like this is all extra there's like a lot of it there we go 90 more lots of it Boop. let's keep this 
this uh, not too far. So we got our base and we got our little sister. Now this is starting to look pretty good. We're gonna give it some more time. Uh, so we're gonna leave this here. Well then, that's, you know. So the only area that I think is not really, so the silver we're not touching. So that that's kind of taken care of. And then the red is kind of the area where the, the wash pool, because we went kind of heavy and there's like heavy folds. So we're gonna just do uh, the white first. So we're just gonna touch up our white here. So again, so we're gonna go back with our um, with our off white, which is uh, old one gray. And so we're gonna start with highlights. But then, of course, using this technique, you can go much further. You just this is just like a kind of the starting point, and then you can expand on it. Or best of all, you can paint all your army in this method, and once it's all painted, then you upgrade, and then you touch up everything else. So let's go with our white here. So this is like pure white here from the army painter. It's the, the matte one. It's one of my favorites. I love this one for sure. You know, again, nothing crazy, but uh, this, this is like a 30-something minutes model, including the base, right? So... Oh no, the green screen, it's moving. <laughs> okay, so we got something like this. Now this this is kind of interesting, maybe it lacks just a little bit. So we're just gonna have like a couple of touches of red with uh, Evil Sun Scarlet, which is uh, my favorite highlight color. Or you know, don't, don't go like full on Leroy Jenkins when you first apply the wash and it's not gonna do that, you know. But I did. I'm a savage. What do you want from me? I'm a savage. I'm a barbarian. Barbarian, like Conan. The Conan of, of Bell Sisters painting. And then uh, we can add just this, just a little bit of that Evil Sun Scarlet in the red, in the eyes, just to make them, uh, make them pop, you know. That's right. That's right. And, and then, and then we can, we can, we, you know, we, we can add a lot to this. But in terms of speed painting, I think this is this is a really great example of get in get out thank you goodbye because because again we could have painted the uh, like 50 of these and it, it would have really sped up the time because uh, almost half of the time our model was spent doing something else because it wasn't dry and we needed it to be dry so a little dab glue here a little, uh, that little spread the activator on there Tall little stuff. So now you can. What you can do here is uh, kind of try to fix mistakes on the base, if you want to. For example, like here, where it like kind of connects, and there's like a hole. There's not a hole anymore. And there's a little tuft of grass. There we go. Oops. Excuse me here. And lastly, we're gonna move all this to the side here. Gonna take black and a big brush, and we're just gonna paint. The rim, because you guys know I love a good rim job. Some may say uh, I give uh, the ladies the best rim job uh, in the area, you know. Talking about bases here. There was a joke to be made about brown and a rim job, but uh, you know, let's not go there. It's not, we, we sort of did already. Uh, all right. <laughs> Boop. 43, b barely 43 minutes, and most of it was uh, was wait was wait waiting for the stuff to dry. So we worked on on other stuff in the meantime. So this is a pretty fast freaking sister of battle model. Uh, if you want like an army over a weekend, I think this is the way to go. Uh, we got something interesting instead of the f the straight black, and uh, got red that's kind of popping little details and a uh, you know interesting enough base i'll be really happy with this and then of course if you want to take it to the next level uh you can you just start from there and you just build up some more colors that's next